All right, so I did a little off-screen training, and I made my deck a lot better. And I had to go through again because I lost to that rich guy at the end of the railway station. So I went back in, killed him again, super easy. And that's pretty much where I am at. And I have a lot better deck now, and the story has progressed from we've gotten off the train and Panic has been knocked out by this mysterious man with his uh, black turban. We've come for the Millennium Necklace. Have we come for the Millennium Necklace? Yeah, why not? Fine, Millennium Necklace is yours. It is my duty to protect Millennium items, for I am a Millennium Guardian. You must prove yourself to me in a duel to see if you are worthy of the Millennium item. You will only get the Millennium Necklace if you can pass my challenge. Okie dokes, broski. Alright, since someone was really nice to point out that if I offer a high value anti card, I can get better cards in return. And this one I have three of, and it's. 72 costs, so that's a pretty good one. I've been having so much fun with this game. Like, seriously, I've been playing it for hours. Well, making the deck better. Uh, it's my turn. Turns out trap cards are really low on cost in your deck. So I got a whole bunch of these bitch ass trap cards. Uh, Esteban destroys monsters with a thousand or less attack. Bear Trap destroys monsters with 1500 or less attack. Invisible Wire... What does Invisible Wire do again? Details... 2000 or less attack, so yeah. It's Esteban, 1000 or less. Bear Trap, 1500 or less. Invisible Wire, 2000 or less. Really nice opening hand. Ah, oh, shoot. He has 1000 defense. Hmm. Hmm. Set an Esteban. And a bear trap. Hopefully we'll only activate one of them. <laughs> End turn. Just in case he decides to attack. Esteban, mystical sheet number two disappeared. And bear trap is activated. Mystical sheet number two. Oh. Okie dokes. Ooh, so glad I got those. Alright, now I'm going to tribute this guy and go into this. I have a bunch of level 1 tribute monsters in my deck. I don't think I have any 2 tribute cards left anymore. Attack with Emperor of the Sea, I think. Infinite Dismal. All this card does is like it stops an attack, it's like a Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Turn end, but it costs 0 like in deck value, so it's awesome for filling up space because I have a bunch of really good cards in here that take up all my deck space. Damn, look at all these traps. Uh, attack. I need more monsters. I guess I did fill my deck with a lot of traps. That's because they're so cheap. Like, spell cards cost a ridiculous amount to put in your deck. And trap cards are cheap as fuck. I wonder what that card did. I'm just destroying everything. Turn a duel. The thing is, even if he does get a monster strong enough to kill me, I can stop it. Alright, and I have another one tribute. Okay. I just have to hope I don't run into a type advantage. If I attack a thunder type monster, I die. Turn end. Although, if he has a thunder type, he'll probably put in attack mode and try to attack me. And I'll have it warned ahead of time. Oh, finally! I oh, know, I got Doron. I got triple Doron in my deck. Doron is super legit. Look at this. Oops. Activate effect. Doron activates effect. He'll put a clone himself on the field. Now I got two of these guys. This guy has 900 attack, and he can clone himself. But he can't attack the turn he uses it. But you can't attack the turn you use any monster effect, so. It's all cool. Yeah, Doron is so good. And he's like, he doesn't even cost that much to put in your deck either. So I've got three of these bad boys in there. It powers up a monster. Trap. He'll be unable to move for a turn. Looks like he powered up one of his cards. Trying to take out my Doron. Tuh. Tuh. Muse, A. Eh? Oh. Yeah, I think I got this in a bag. Let's tribute one of these Dorons. Bring out the monster guy, whatever. And... 
left. He's tapped. Let's set a bear trap. Alright, now let's kill him. Water, I should be fine attacking that guy. Alright, I think I got this. Door on attacks, and then Spikebot. <laughs> His name is Spikebot in this. I know that dude's name isn't Spikebot in real life. So remember, that was like one of the cards. One of the first cards I got. Necrolancer the Time Lord will disappear. I wonder what Necrolancer the Time Lord was. Ooh, a Leo John. I already won though, so. Let's just throw out my other door on. And attack. And attack with Spikebot. Your opponent is out of life points. Dual victory. Deck capacity is increased by 3, 400. Damn, that's a lot. Hourglass of life. Oh, Hourglass of Light, it feels so good. I already have two of these guys in my deck. Now you have a third one, that's awesome. What this card does is you can pay 1,000 life points, and you'll increase the attack of all monsters on your side of the field by 500. And that's great. Although, you do have a fixed amount of life points, so you just have to go back and reset it like after duels. You use this. You can't abuse its power because of the... If you're stuck in a dungeon where you have to conserve life points or something like that. But otherwise, it only costs 47 to put in your deck, and you can boost up all your monsters by 500, which is awesome with Doron. You're still clumsy and unfriend, but deep within you, I sense a faint glimmer of hope. You have proven yourself. Take this, it is yours. Nice, I have a Millennium item now. What does that mean? What is this? the image I just saw. It's pretty badass. <laughs> but you saw it too, didn't you? Yes, sir. Reshef, the dark being will destroy the world. What Issues said was really true, and my other self, but why? Who knows, broski. We have to hurry. If we don't, there's going to be a world of trouble. Let's go back and see Issue right away. Okay, let's go back and see Issue right away. Ha, huh, he killed Panic. Panic sucked ass. You have secretly guarded over the Millennium Items. Millennium Items are believed to be attracting each other. The Millennium Necklace will lead you to the next one. Along with the Millennium Items, you will face a Millennium Guardian. They'll overcome the challenges you present. I see. Oh shit, I don't have to duel him, do I? I'm really low on life points. Hmm, so the Merry Band of Losers finally have a clue about the what's really going on. Izu visited my big brother. She wanted him to get the Egyptian god cards back. Mogaba, keep quiet. The title of champion of the strongest cards. Only the monster's most powerful duelist is worthy of these two things. And that duelist is me. I'll recover the Egyptian god cards quickly and easily. I bet you guys have the... I bet you guys are happy that my big bro's gonna help you out, huh? Mokuba? What is it, Seto? I have no interest in teaming up with these clowns. Big brother, listen up, you fools. A real duelist does not need help from a bunch of cheerleaders. All you should count on is your own strength. You guys are weak. Name and survive. Blah, blah, blah. I'm better than you guys. Mwah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's just skip out the rest of that. He was just there to tell us about the god cards, I guess. What a dick. This is the Egyptian exhibit, huh? How do I get out of here? Because I don't want to be in here anymore. Hmm, is there like, that just takes me back there, it looks like they're gone. Uh, maybe I get out this way. Ah, cool. Let's go back to the clock house. There, I have to save real quick. Because I really need to recover my life points. I used hourglass effect in one of my other duels and I actually took some life point damage. Surprising, I know, considering how much life points I have. Now let's go back here and examine crap. Stations connect to the exhibit. Uh-huh. Where the hell is the exhibit? Was that it? I guess so. Uh, I should go see if I can beat Jessica. Or whatever her name is. So I can get back on the train, probably, right? Growl will be for me like the dog that you are. I'm trying to imitate Kaiba. Pretty good, right? Huh? He doesn't sound like that. Are you sure? Maybe we should duel this guy. 
Maybe he's got some good cards. Let's go down to my high anti card. Oh, I forgot to put that third hourglass in my deck. Eh, whatever. My deck's already pretty legit without it. Let's throw down Kaminari Kozo. I know Kami means God, and I don't know what the rest of it means. It seems like God Lizard or something. Whatever, he can't destroy me. I have my two best trap cards in my hand. They destroy monsters with 2,000 or less attack. Broski. Hmm. Well, I think I should set down another one before I go into it since these guys. Holy fucking shit. Of course. I already used my summon for this turn, too. Damn it. Mmm. Whatever. Trent was activated, the field is transformed into a forest. Holy shit! Uh, details. A massive ancient tree that guards forest. It can turn the field into a forest forest, so that increases the attack of certain monsters. None of the ones I have, though. And he has 1950 attack. Alright. What I have to do is just wait for him to attack, basically. So... Uh, let's put out Yamato Dragon. Put this guy into defense mode. And set down another invisible wire to kill his two monsters that attack. Sheesh. Attack me, forest. Okay, got rid of one of them. And got rid of Trent. Whew. Glad I had that invisible wire. 1950. Barely made it. Okay. Let's tribute the Dragon God. Go into Winged Ingle. 1800 attack. Not half bad. 900 attack. This guy's my new. Actually, Doro has 900 attack as well. Yeah, this guy and Doro are my two strongest non tribute monsters. Turn end. Let's see, ooh, a bear trap. 700, 700, they both have 700. Let's go to this guy. You would think, and no, he's rock type, that's right. Whenever the field changes, it affects only the type they are, not their uh, attribute. So, let's just attack with the Yamato Dragon, be safe. And Morphine Jar. And Winged Eagle. Alright, he only has 2,800 life points left, right? Yeah, I should win on my next turn. Since I got Bear Trap out. Bear Trap with active, got rid of Petit Dragon. Ha! Bitch. And 700, 700, let's take out Thunder God. And I think that should be it. 14, Winged Eagle. Points at life points, still victory. Your deck capacity increased by 350. Trent was obtained. Ooh. A massive ancient tree that guards the forest of fairies. It can turn the field into a forest. Damn, I can't believe I got that. I'm not really sure what forest affects, though. It only has 1500. 1500 is not half bad. Yeah, I might put it in my deck. I'm not sure. I can tough didn't do anything for me. Strategies. Strategy, dear sir. Alright, there's nothing in here. Let's just go do a quick save. Maybe I have to talk to that girl. Yeah, let's do that. What's up, yo? I'm glad that you have returned safely. I see that you have obtained the Millennium Necklace. Unfortunately, it is not sufficient. A single Millennium item does not have enough power. Not enough to restore the Egyptian God cards from stone. The next Millennium item... Ooh, it's a wizard. What is this present I'm feeling? I am the Puppeteer of Doom. Ooh, what a fancy name. I won't let you meddle with the Master Shalowski's plan. Sounds Russian. Duel, motherfucker! Alright, where's my high anti-card? I got a freaking Trent out of that last one. That card's nice. 
And an hourglass. Oh, it looks like the field is beneficial to dark types or something like that. Malevolent Nuzzler. Oh, that sucks. That card costs way too much points to be put in my deck. Oh, such a strong card. No fair, yo. Let's see. He's Fiend type. Fiend types are bad against light types. I don't think I have a light type in my deck, to be honest. So I'm fucked unless I can get Swordsman out. Let's see. Uh, they both have 700 defense. Put them in defense mode and infinite dismal. House of Adhesive Tape, probably not going to do me any good. I would love one of my invisible wires right about now. Oh, thank god he tributed. Fucking shit, never mind, that sucks. Is he dinosaur type by any chance? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh. A fiendish doll that was once beloved but discarded. It came to life the exact revenge for abandonment. Uh, it's forest with its fiend type. Hmm. Well, a single tributes required. Details. A swordsman that bears a fiery sword deadly to all dinosaurs. It has the power to wipe out all dinosaurs on the foe's field. Too bad he doesn't have any dinosaurs. Defense mode. Alright. Uh, I do have a card that can take him out. A spell card that just destroys him. Ugh. House of Adhesive Tape only destroys monsters with less than 500 attack. It's only in here because it cost zero to put in your deck. And I already had my budget spent. Damn it. Why do I have three morphing jars in this deck? Alright, and turn. Oh, another one. It's Butt's turn. <gasps> Bear Trap! That can stop. Nope, this duel's a wash. I've lost. Defense mode and Bear Trap to prolong the inedible. Ineditable. Inevitable. That one word, which means you can't change the outcome. Stupid doll of demise. If I had drawn into a door on this, wouldn't have happened. Ha! Destroyed one of your guys. Come on, something to. Nope. I'm screwed. God damn it. Turn and let's just speed through this. Butts is out of life points. Lost the duel.